Okay, today we're going to do a quick little instructional video on how to take out and take apart and service your 6768 deck block assembly. I've seen way too many of these blown apart with a chisel and a hammer when people lose their keys. There's no need for that. Stop, slow down, let's do it right. First off, when you're in a boneyard or swap meet or whatever, you're going to want to keep these two items together. Well, you say, I don't, there's no key for this, so why bother? I already have an assembly without a key. Well, here's the reason right here. See that little code right here? We're going to shine this up with some steel wool. Look at that code. That code is the code that West Coast Classic Cougar needs to recut you another original FOMOCO key. With that code, you can go on our website, hit the Add to Cart button, in the comments section, you put in the code, we cut you another key that fits both this and this. And to get this properly 100% apart, you will need a key. Tools to take this apart, real simple. An extension, a drive or ratchet, and a 7 16 socket. Now this is a 67. 67s and most of 68 look this way. Some of you are lucky enough to have a late 68. Late 68s have a cutout right here that just makes the process so much easier. You can stick a flashlight in there, you can stick your hand in there, you get tools in there. Oh well, they thought of that kind of late. Most of you will not have that luxury. 7 sixteenths. Put in your extension. Now this has an access hole. We're barely going to be able to reach in there and get that 7 16 You're going to do a few turns, but you're not going to take the nut off. Instead, you're going to stop after three or four turns and go like this. I'll show you why in a second. Then it'll be tight but you're going to rotate this lock assembly. Now you can get to the other side, thus the small drive. You don't want a fat extension in here. Now back into this hole. And finish taking the nut off. If you're really good, which I'm not, the nut will remain in the socket. Nope, I'm not. Skipping ahead, went to West Coast Classic Cougar, got my key made, and unlike the local locksmith, I got one that says Ford family of fine cars. It's a correct looking key. The beauty about a key cut from the factory code, which also, by the way, is in your owner's manual, or if you're so lucky to still have the, the fob attached to it, the code was on there when you first got the car. Anyway, with a key cut from the factory code, you're not doing a copy of a copy of a copy all wore out. You got crisp, sharp, correct edges. I haven't even tried it out yet, but I know it's going to fit perfect the first time. Look at that. No wiggling, no jiggling. We got the right key. Now, you may want to change your housing. That's why you need a key. By the way, when we hit this, what we were doing when we were um, ramming our socket against this captured washer, we were forcing the deck lock assembly out of the trunk and in, do so, in so doing, this wedge spacer gets knocked out. So bang, instead of trying to pry this assembly out, give it a whack from behind with that nut still on. These are very hard to come by. We do have them on our website. They aren't reproduced. Don't lose those. We also have these nuts on our website. 
as with this. And to take off this assembly, real easy. All you have to do, let's get a close up of the spring here. This is how it is before we disturb it. To take it off, all we're gonna do is rotate a quarter turn, take this off, and this assembly comes out. To get the cylinder out, we don't punch this, we don't grind it. Sometimes you, if you don't have a key, you can get lucky and pry it out, but only about one in five times if you're lucky. Put our key in, rotate it, and put pressure right there. Notice I rotated it just less than a quarter turn. Push the knob down. Might as well take this spring off. Now our cylinder is out of the housing. We can send this in for rechrome, we can replace it, whatever. Do a quick assembly here again. Notice when I put the key in, that little tab pops right back up and it won't go down again until we put pressure on it. Here's your spring. Put the J in the notch, rotate it. Now you have spring tension on your key assembly. Easy as that. Here's our reproduction ready to slide in the hole. There we go. Perfect fit, first time. Ready to install back inside your trunk. Oh, he's got another one. Very nice group.